Good morning. We are in Alicante, Spain. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. It's a sunny morning. One of our favorite things to do in new countries is trying their local food. Yeah, we love eating and trying new dishes. And yeah, so today, what are we doing? We are going to go around to a bunch of different restaurants. I have a list of local Spanish drinks and food to try, mm -hmm. so we can kind of go through. I don't know how these places are. We haven't been yet, so I'm hoping we get lucky and find some hidden gems. Yep, and if you are ever in Alicante and some of these places are really worth eating, we will let you know. Yeah. Or if they're not worth going to, we'll also let you know. Exactly. breakfast and it's pretty noisy in here but we also figured a busy place means the food's probably pretty good so first thing on our list is chocolate con porras so these are very similar to churros and they do sell churros as well these are just a little bit longer and thicker and then you can get it um, with the chocolate sauce which is like a really rich melted thick chocolate that you dip it into or with coffee um, with milk and obviously we got both so we'll see how it treasures up mm -hmm. Dish we got is tortilla de patatas, which is a Spanish omelet. It might be one of the most popular dishes in Spain, but basically it's an omelet loaded with potatoes. And I think this one actually has some ham in it as well, which some people will add. Another common thing to add is onion, which some people love, some people hate. But it is one of my favorite dishes here, and I absolutely love it. All right, so breakfast was fantastic. We needed a quick break if we were going to fit any more food. So we did walk up to the castle. It was really cool. If you guys want to see some clips of that, you can check our uh, Instagram and TikTok. <laughs> Perfecto. Perfecto. Viva España. We'll have some uh, clips on our social media from the castle. It's really cool. Uh, we are getting our first round of lunch now. Some tapas, which if you don't know, these are typical small, Sp small Spanish, Spanish plates. <laughs> Uh, meant for sharing. Oh, no. Señores, filmando. España. Ahí está todo. Venga, al extranjero. Mira España. Mi pequeño. Sergio, venga, di algo para aquí para España. Hola, saludos a toda España. El martes. Sí, sí, sí. So tapas are typically like a small Spanish plate they're meant for sharing. So a lot of them don't even open till evening, mm -hmm. but we're in a pretty touristy spot, so they're open a little more. Okay. Yeah. So we've got one of our favorites, patatas bravas, which is potatoes with a kind of a spicier sauce. This one has an aioli as well, which is... 50% of them do and 50 don't, I yeah. would say. Yeah, I think the classic way is just the red sauce, but we like them with aioli. Yeah. And gazpacho. we also have gazpacho, which is like a cold tomato soup. I have yet to try it. I don't know if you have. I don't think I have either. So I'm looking forward to that. It's supposed to be super refreshing on a hot day, so. And it is toasty today. Yeah. All right, first test of the gazpacho. Yes or no? It's good. It is very refreshing. I thought it would taste a little bit more like tomato soup. No. It doesn't. Um, there is definitely some cucumber. Yeah. But it's really good. It's cold. Yeah, it's nice. It's not really what you expect if you eat a lot of soup, but it is it is refreshing. It's a good summer soup. Mm -hmm. Okay, so our third stop of the day. We are at La Guapa Vermuteria. And we are here for an afternoon drink. Yeah, so vermouth is a very popular drink in Spain. I think there's actually about six kinds of it, but they're all variations of white or red. So the white is typically more dry and the red is a little more sweet. All right. So, let's see what you think. Let's try them. Mm, this is the dry one? Maybe not. <laughs> it's quite sweet. It's good though. 
it almost is reminiscent of a... Oh, the white's much more sweet. Of, a, of a, an iced wine almost, but not as sweet. Yeah, the white's definitely a little more sweet. The red's more bitter. It's still also sweet though. Yeah. They're just both sweet. Very different flavors though. Iced wine is the most similar thing I've had to these though. Quite good. Yeah, good little afternoon break before we get back into the food. Yeah. So our next stop is a really good budget eats mm -hmm. and drink spot. Yep, we're here for a late afternoon snack. Yeah, this is 100 Montaditos. So they specialize in a huge list of bocadillos, which are just like little mini sandwiches. So mm -hmm. good snack throughout the day whenever you need. They're cheap too, like most of them are under two euros each. Yeah, there's some that are up one euro 30, the next one that's one euro 50, and then like their specialty ones, which are one euro and 80 cents. Yeah. And it's a chain, did you mention that? Nope, I didn't. Okay, <laughs> it's a chain. They have them all around Spain. Yeah, I think um, Portugal and Italy as well. Yeah, so you can find them in multiple countries. Yep. And drinks, we've got a huge cerveza. Mm -hmm. And I have a Tinto de Verano, which we have found all over the city. I've been drinking them the past couple days, and it's basically red wine mixed with lemon and... Soda. Soda. Or just a lemon soda. Mm -hmm. Either or. Mm -hmm. But they were two euros each yeah. for these, so yeah. you're hard-pressed to find a better deal on. And like, look at that size. I will say this size is so much bigger but you can find this drink um, everywhere like yeah. almost every restaurant you can even find them like in their little uh, side like convenience stores yeah, yeah. hard-pressed to beat the deal here mm -hmm. <laughs> supposed to wait till I start filming to eat I was impatient <laughs> so these are the little bocadillos like I said, they're just little tiny sandwiches, mm -hmm. but they're perfect if you just need a snack. You can get a couple of them too, like three of them for under six euros. Yeah, exactly. So it's nothing crazy, like nothing gourmet. We're not, that's not why it's in this video. It is in this video because one, it's something that the locals have a lot, and two, because it is so cheap. So yeah. we got two sandwiches, this mini little burger. Look at this guy. <laughs> so, um, so tiny. That also comes with chips, and we got our two drinks, all for nine euros, which yeah. is just crazy. Yeah. All right, and these are empanadas. These are one of my favorite Spanish dishes ever since I had them in Madrid. Mm -hmm. I just fell in love with them. There's so many different fillings you can put in them, and they're so simple, but they're yeah. so delicious. So we got three different kinds, and they heat them up there, and then we just we brought them back to our uh, Airbnb so we can eat them. Yeah. Yeah. So we've got jamon y queso, which is ham and cheese, saboya y queso, which is onion and cheese, mm -hmm. and chorizo picante, which is a spicy sausage. So, what are you going to try first? Spicy sausage, of course. Alright, I'm going to try jamon and queso. Mmm. Those are good. Mm-hmm. You will find no shortage of empanada shops here there's loads so basically pick whichever one speaks to you and buy a few there's so many good options all right this is Ramon Uberto in queso which is Iberian ham and cheese nicely laid out on the plate. So this is one I haven't tried yet, but I've been wanting to for a long time. It's kind of a delicacy here. It is pretty pricey. Like a plate of the meat and cheese is I think 18 euros, but the ham on its own can get up to like 20 euros depending where you are. So it's supposed to be pretty high quality meat. We'll see if it lives up to the hype. That is really good. It's very similar to like a prosciutto. We couldn't leave Spain without trying one of our favorite topics, croquettes. Yeah, so we've had croquettes so many times, but we just love them, so we couldn't finish the video without having them and recording them. Yeah. Um, the place that we're going to though, we haven't tried, but we are trying them because apparently they're quite reasonably priced. They're one euro and 60 cents, I think, yep. for each croquette, and normally we get like between two and four. They're yeah. quite small in most places. Yeah. Um, yeah, what are croquettes? So basically it's like a deep fried bechamel sauce or cheese mm -hmm. with ham, or you can get it with some different seafoods, I mean yeah. shrimp or cod. Yeah. 
but we always go for the ham because I'm not big on seafood. Yep, there's also uh, at different places they have interesting kinds like we had chicken and there was one with um, spinach and goat cheese. So it really just yeah. depends, but the most common is ham, fish, or just cheese. Yeah. yeah. So we're going to go check that out. That is the end of our video. Thank you guys. If you enjoy it, like, subscribe. We still have some more adventures to go see in Europe. Yeah. Stay tuned. Thanks, guys.